Now this is an unusual pollinator. You would not expect a beetle to be a pollinator, but he is obviously going through the corn pollen and dumping it off, which is helping to pollinate my corn. Corn silks that need to be pollinated. Let's back away. There's corn sticks, silks that may have been pollinated. Let's take a look at the difference between these ears of corn. I'm not gonna destroy my corn. <laughs> Wait too long for this. But you see that thin, thin ear of corn? Obviously it hasn't been pollinated. The silks are brand new and they are uh, green and um, maybe they have next to no color in them, but they appear to me to be a light green color. Now you look at these corn silks and they are brown. They're still alive and I'm told that the corn silks, when they are pollinated, do die and shrivel. So those corn silks are still growing. We'll see how big they get. But if you look at this corn, it does look a little fuller. So maybe something has been pollinated in this. Guys, um, if you look, there's corn pollen all over the place. So I'm relying upon these pollinators to do what they do. Now let's look at this corn silk. You can see it still has green corn silks in it, which means those probably haven't been pollinated, but then there are quite a few corn silks that are brown. Some of them have shriveled up and died, which is a sign that they, that particular corn silk has been pollinated, and I guess it's getting out of the way so others can be pollinated. I'm going to now take you around and look at some other corn silks because obviously as a gardener hungry for a garden corn, I am studying my corn so much. I am looking at every aspect of it, trying to hope that I did now, good. This ear of corn, the corn silks have started to shrivel up. Can you see that? They are shriveled up. They're not juicy. They are definitely shriveled. There is some at the top that looks like they still need to be pollinated. And you go back here and there's more corn silks. Those have turned brown. All of these corn silks are quite short. I'm told that corn silks get longer and longer when they aren't pollinated. Mine are all seeming to stay short. Um, I hope that means that this corn is provided with good pollination, good cross pollination, that I planted enough corn. This is my full corn patch. It is approximately, well not approximately, it's a two by two, two foot by two foot patch of corn and I planted corn every six inches. Um, some corn in there didn't come up in one row, so one row is planted one foot apart. For some reason, it's kind of hard for me to count the corn. But um, I know that I have at least 20 corn stalks in my corn patch. I have some outlier patches where I just put a few uh, corn in other spots to see if it was too late to grow and I kept doing that until no corn would come up. It is the middle of July, it is quite hot and um, <clears throat> I have three different sets of corn but this is my main corn patch. This was the one that I'm quite hopeful in and that is my corn silks study. Thank you for watching this video to the very end. Jesus loves you, and I love you with all the Jesus in me. Be blessed, beautiful. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe and watch some more of my videos.